On Friday, the Air Force released its draft environmental impact statement on the consequences of moving Isleson Air Force's base's F-16 aggressor squadron. It contains some hard-to-swallow numbers on the potential damage to the interior economy. News 13 reporter Tom Hewitt has more. The draft environmental impact statement released by the Air Force is the size of a phone book, but the potential impact on the interior can be told with just a few numbers. 3,154 jobs lost, 3 schools closed, 100 teachers and school staff laid off, 8.9% unemployment. If the Air Force goes through with its plan to move Isleson Air Force Base's F-16 Aggressor Squadron, consequences for the Fairbanks and North Pole area will be stark. Well, that's a huge impact um, on our community. Uh, that's unemployment. That's the economy uh, uh, staggering around a bit. Uh, you know, the military is about 40% of our economy, so take the chunk of a huge chunk of Ileson away, and it's a big bite. With the vast majority of airmen gone from the base, Ileson's three public schools would very likely be forced to close. School district officials say there would also be formula funding cuts that could harm other schools that remain open as well as expensive and lengthy bus rides for students in the Isleson and Salcha area. Without knowing the specific families that would be moving um, and the number of children in each of those families, it would be difficult to get a specific number. Um, but the, the numbers that they cited, it, it, when they say 80 to 100 teachers, if it's 100 teachers, that's all three of our buildings. Um, and we have approximately 1,000 students on the base. And so it would be you know, absolutely devastating if that happened. Fortunately for the interior, the draft EIS isn't the last word on the move or even the most important one. The Air Force is holding public hearings on the statement in Fairbanks on June 19th and in North Pole on June 20th. And U.S. Senator Mark Begich says a strategic assessment of the Air Force presence in Alaska is being prepared by General Hawk Carlisle, and it will likely prove much more meaningful with regard to Ielsen and its mission. Keep in mind it's a draft EIS, and General uh, Carlisle is doing a much larger issue, which is a strategic assessment. And what is that? That makes sure... Uh, the assets that are along the Pacific Rim, predominantly, obviously, Alaska, and the value of that for our new focus on the Pacific Rim, North Korea, and the issues that Alaskans know very clear uh, that we have a very strategic location. So that assessment, I believe, as that gets completed toward the end of summer, uh, will trump any of these other issues. Local officials and Alaska's congressional delegation alike take issue with the Air Force's use of 2008 cost figures in calculating the savings of the move. They say those numbers are outdated and won't pencil out. And they're frustrated that, as in 2005, the military seems to be moving forward with decisions regardless of the reality on the ground. What are we doing? Why are we, why do we have to keep responding as a community to incomplete information, to, to incomplete analysis? And that's what really upsets me, that, that we have now been drugged through this process for a year and a half and we keep you know, spending time, we keep spending money, we keep making an, <laughs> making an effort. We believe this community, this state, has significant advantages to offer the U.S. military. Many question marks still remain with regard to the future of Ileson, but the draft impact statement makes one thing perfectly clear. If the jets go, the impact on the interior will be huge and it will be painful. I'm Tom Hewitt for News 13.